It was Natalie's birthday this weekend. Whoop yeah. whoop. Um, yeah. I got um we I got her gift where she's a part owner now in a <laughs> in a soccer team. Oh, I know. In a women's soccer I team. Saw. And like we it was our buddy Dan List like helped set up everything. And the way, the, the, basically, there was no one in the stadium. It was just us. <laughs> and on the big, big, what are, what are they called? The Jumbotron. On the Jumbotron, it was just Natalie's name. And it was like, congrats, proud owner, owner. <laughs> Natalie Maraduena. And it totally fucking looked like I bought her the stadium. <laughs> and it looked like I bought her the entire thing. And it was so funny because it went up and like, like, I like mutual friends of ours would text me. Like they responded to my story and they're like, shut up. You bought her an entire soccer team. People were and so confused. Everybody was so, everybody was like, you bought her a fu- fucking stadium. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and all the comments like were like, billionaire. all the comments were like, oh my God, I get you a guy like David. I can like buy you a stadium. <laughs> Literally. Everybody was like, why are you with Todd? Why are you yeah, not with all, David? All the comments were about Todd. Like, and it was oh really God. funny because <laughs> Todd posted like a story or some shit. I think maybe on TikTok where he woke up Natalie oh, with yeah. a, uh, with a plate of pasta. It was, lit- it was our leftover it. Chinese food. It was leftover Chinese food, and he was like, "Happy birthday to you!" And the and the top comment was like, "Wow, you got her fucking Chinese food, and he, he, David bought her a stadium." <laughs> it was really funny, but no, I didn't buy her a stadium. She's just a part owner. Um, nowhere near the same price as buying an entire stadium. But I do appreciate that people thought. Right when I posted it, I was like, oh, "Like the first comment I saw, I was like, whoa, this is gonna be really funny." Because it looks like people are starting to think that I bought this place for her. What did um, you think? Um, on our way there, I, David mentioned it to me. Like, I thought I was going to a business meeting, like meeting this guy. Yeah. And halfway through, he was just like, so we're not going to the business meeting. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, I don't, I don't know why I didn't think anything of it. And he was like, we're actually going to your birthday surprise. And I was still so confused. And I was like, oh, wait, he's being serious. It's my birthday today. Like, maybe, I don't know, whatever. And then... He was like, don't try to guess it. Uh, and I was so confused. I was like, Dan Liss is involved? Like, what did what did he help get me that, you know, it didn't make sense. Yeah. And then he was like, don't guess it. Because if you guess it, I have a feeling you're going to get it. Yeah. And then we went through the whole thing. And how surprised. Was, ever guess that? That's David? what I said. And then I took the blindfold off. I was like, how in what in what world would I have ever guessed that you bought me part ownership in the women's soccer team? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. It's not something that I even knew I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed like, like, come on, if you're thinking about things, like, what else is left? What? I mean, no. what are you talking about? <laughs> no, you don't no. think that's like. No. Bought her Mars. Okay, no, she's going to get this. <laughs> and that I was bought like, her a planet. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, don't say anything about the solar systems, please. <laughs> and we were going downtown too, and I have no, I like, I never go downtown yeah, LA. I thought if we're going downtown, yeah, it doesn't go downtown. I thought I know, if we're going that's downtown, that was a dead giveaway that it's a stadium. <laughs> really? No. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I was like, she's gonna know, whatever. So let's just keep it to yourself if you know. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to know that you know because it's a surprise. Sure, wrote it. Um, but yeah, she didn't know, and uh, it was a fun surprise. <laughs> and honestly, like for one, I thought you were done giving me birthday gifts because I've already gotten so many like crazy <laughs> gifts. Yeah. But. Honestly, it was like the best thing to top any other gift. Like I don't, I don't know what you could possibly do any more, any further. Right. Because everything else would be like predictable. This is like the only gift you could possibly get that was like cool and different. Yeah, it was really cool. Other than like like a snow globe or something. <laughs> snow globes are sick. Next year, I'm getting a snow globe. Snow globe. But um, but yeah, no, it was really fun and made me look fucking dope as hell. Before, like, <laughs> damn, you can afford a stadium, and I, I didn't even deny it ever, except right here. <laughs> the comments, I was just liking all of them. I was like, yeah, you damn right about. <laughs> soccer team <laughs> um but yeah that was fun 